I don't know if I've actually teleported to this research lab before. It seems a little bit more... <laughs> Man, this seems so blue and big brain kind of E. I I don't know, it seems to be... It kind of makes me think of, uh, you know, in ARMS. You, you probably don't know much about ARMS, really, because there's not... I don't know, it's debatable. It's, it's fairly new to the world of video games. ARMS! But there's a fighter that has... Uh, that's like all green and flubberish. That, that kind of makes me think of it, I don't know. He's flubber! And stuff. But yeah, this, this entire village looks better now with the blue flames. I'm pretty sure it has to do something. <laughs> I'm still not too sure what it is yet. Uh, I'm going to have to figure that out at some point. Because there is a mystery of this village. There's something weird going on with it. But maybe the mystery of the village will be partially solved once I... Oh, there's another farmer's pitchfork. Well, yeah, I can't carry any more weapons. Otherwise, I totally would grab it. But I will find the mystery uh, one day. And when I do, it'll be after I kill some monsters down here, because uh, there's some enemies to uh, destroy. Because why not? At least, I think that they might be at... Oh, that must be their little point of reference that I need to be attacking, because uh, they were saying that uh, it's at Hatno Beach. The, that's probably what it is at the beach. I'll go down and stop, like, right here. Just in case. Hello? Why do we have... There's an electrical keys. Oh no. All my weapons are made out of metal for the most part. Um, how about a Korok leaf? Or can I shoot him out of the air with the one... Oh, I have seven arrows. Okay. Come on. Let's do this. Oh. That was a pretty good shot. Because I have to clear out- Oh, Yeah, I can that. Electric keys wing! A rare electric keys wing. The, the part of the electric keys that produces electricity is not in the wings. So it will not shock you. Toss it in with some critters to make some elixirs. But it doesn't tell you- it's not any special kind of elixir, it doesn't seem like. Oh, hello. I like that there's just these kind of, uh... Poor little Lizalfos. Because... Listalfos, which I would want to call them, probably. Oh. They are uh, not really to be worried about because any sort of uh, enemy that is. like bones, you can. You can just uh, smack them and kill them with any sort of weapon. Oh, what's this? A knight's bow! That thing probably would have one hit me if I got hit by that thing. You monster! Well, I guess that's still the whole point. They are monsters, and I'm killing them. Although, this... Uh, Liz... Oh, Lizzle bow. I'm gonna have to drop a bow on the ground, because my bows are just crap. There we go. Wait, you can have five bows? I didn't even know that. I thought that I was only able to have four this entire time. So it's a bonus. But then again, still, I don't use very many... I'm gonna grab this crab, why not? Razor Claw Crab. This c c c crab, as uh, Scooby Doo would say. Although I don't know if you would actually have the, the C sound. I don't know. It is well known for its exceptionally sharp pincers. When cooked, the strength compound in its claws will increase your attack power. Oh, that would actually be really beneficial against somebody like that guardian. Because I could increase attack power or I could attack, increase my uh, defense, which the defense is what I needed. But attack power is probably what I should go with uh, moving forward. Because the more attack power I have, the the faster that would have been. Like, that's usually what my strategy is for bosses in video games. Oh, no you don't. You can't escape me, fish. Okay, you probably can escape me, fish. I will uh, leave you alone, fish. <laughs> okay. There we go. But... Uh, yeah, that's, that's usually my strategy, is I just go for all damage all the time, because then if you smack them enough, then they forget who they are, and they're just like, Oh, I will become your greatest ally, and I'm just like, yes, yes, cause confusion in them. That's what I do when I play Dungeons and Dragons, which is never, well, at least not anymore, 
Even then, I never really played legit Dungeons and Dragons, really. Because, you know, it doesn't really happen. You just kind of... pretend, and you just make up crazy scenarios, because I just like to say a bunch of random crap. Oh. This beach, uh, is a little bit frightening. Don't know why there is a, uh, giant cat that died there. I don't know, in a hundred years, it, there's some strange things that have happened. Yeah, this beach doesn't seem that bad. Who was I even supposed to really kill then at this beach? Because they said, like, oh yeah, go to uh, Hat No Beach and, uh... Ooh! Oh, I thought that was gold. I don't have any gold. But yeah, I might as well check all of those rocks while I'm in the area. Oh no. I, I, you really would think that there'd be more enemies around if they still would be saying like, Oh, kill the enemies at the beach. Or maybe the enemies, like there's gonna be one like mini boss coming up. Which I will have to deal with. Also, no, I don't know if it was, it was in the iron shell crab, it was the... Oh, okay. There's the other kind of crab. It's gonna be up there, isn't it? Oh. Just checking to make sure there's nothing. Oh yeah, there are some enemies coming in here. Choose! Oh, this is the first time that my weapon didn't instantly one-hit him. Okay, I will use something slightly more effective. Soldier Spear. That's insane, those are some strong chew jellies. So maybe those are the enemies that I had to kill at the beach. Maybe these people are just tricking me, just messing with me. Because there's nothing at the beach. There are no sharks in the waters. Uh, they're just a bunch of scaredy cats. That's essentially what it is. Oh, it's just so slow. <laughs> I probably should wear my bandana. <laughs> yeah, you found me. Okay, I need uh, s five more. Five more. Because the more weapons, the better. I'm getting to be, I'm almost at a critical mass of weapons that I can, uh, not have to worry about them anymore. Because look at this, I have quite a few weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so I can have nine, because one of mine was broken. <laughs> because, uh, as we all know, we gotta keep the iron sledge, woodcutter's axe, torch, and korok leaf, just in case there's any of those items that we need. I'm actually just gonna hold this out to see what it, oh, see what it looks like. Man. That's just so epic. Oh well, I still have a spear. I can k kill some fish and do some cooking in a little bit here. Is that a snail? Is that a different kind of snail as well? Or is it still a sneaky snail? No. Oh. Hearty blue shell snail. This snail, I was gonna say snail, lives on sandy beaches in large numbers. There's one of them on its own. Okay. Its flesh contains high amount of stimulants, so when cooked in a, to a dish, it temporarily increases your maximum hearts. Oh, see, I, I actually needed more dishes that increases uh, maximum hearts. Because I don't have anything like that. At all. And that'd be really nice. Uh, I'm gonna pick up some more rocks, just in case. There are a couple around here, so... Nothing else I can uh, try to skip it across the water. Let's look at this. Hey guys, I'm the best at skipping rocks! Ugh! Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab some crabs. Any sort of uh, elixirs I can always grab. Because still, you don't actually run out of inventory space, so why not? You might as well go with it. Roll with the punches. And with the Robert munches. Because you gotta roll with them. He has a very specific kind of crew. Oh, this might be actually what they were talking about before. And, yeah. If you don't do the time in the crimes, then you're not cool enough to be in the Robert Munch crew. He may seem like he's all family friendly and child friendly and all that, but in actuality, he's a murderous rampager. Okay, I need, I need more Razor Claws. I need, uh, two more, I think it is? Because I, I think I should have three at this point. So, two more Razor Claws and then I can make something really good to kill a boss with. 
Oh, this is pretty easy. I have- I have a melon. This is why you don't get rid of your melons. You keep them at all times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I just sorted my materials by accident. But yeah, I just love that. It's worth it. Totally worth it. Hold one, and drop it right in there. There we go. Hey, Korok, how's it going? I'm up to the eight, so four more. Should be correct. My math isn't completely bad. But it is, but it isn't. But four is not actually that difficult to get, I don't think. Also, what- I'm just gonna zoom in. Huh. No clue. Whatever it is, I could be dangerous. But yeah, there's nothing at the beach. Maybe that's why they didn't give me like a little fake uh, quest thing. They're just like, oh yeah, there's there's some a uh, enemies that you need to kill on the beach. No, I've been uh, around here all night. I killed the Stalfos and uh, there's nothing really around. Those guys are just uh, having their beach party, but they are all on vacation. Oh, that's not the Razor Crab. I can still take it. It's not as good as the Razor ones, though. Cause you, yeah, I gotta trust those razor mice better. Did I grab this rock yet? I don't think I did. I think the way of telling if you grabbed a rock is if it's like actually flush with the ground, or if it looks like ridiculous in a bunch of random piles, like how I throw them. But yeah, this this place seems to be fairly calm. I was lied to. Those people in town don't know what they're saying. They should come down to the beach and have a jolly good time. I know I do whenever I'm in town here. At the beach. Okay. This is gonna break like as soon as I touch the next thing. But... Come on, there we go. One more. Ah, it broke. Okay. Now I have a reason to go back to Kakariko then, because I know exactly where a sledgehammer is there. I think that's probably the easiest to access sledge. Okay, there seems to be a boar. Maybe this is just along this path that they were worried about? I don't know, it, just, it still seems a bit too calm and cautious. Well, non-cautious. I want to see what's on that rock up there. But... Go ahead, try to run at me. That's right. It's gonna run, uh, hide behind a tree so that it would smack his head on there. Okay, there seems to be a few rocks in unison down there. Ah, uh, I'll take a quick look first. Actually, wait. That right there, I need to touch. I don't know what it is, but I need to touch and talk, potentially. So I guess I will uh, continually move then. I'm just gonna do the loop. Then I will leave this area and never come back. So it is a waste. Where even... I don't think there's anywhere to even go with that. What if I drop a rock in between those? I don't know. Also, there seems to be... Yep, there's there's a Lizalfos just hidden there. Hiding, doing his thing. Okay. Uh, well. Didn't do anything. <laughs> I don't think this really works so well. I think you're supposed to, like, fall from above into it. Either that or those are completely different from what I'm thinking. What kind of weapon do I have out? Um, let's just use a boom- I'll actually use a spear. But the boomerang- nah, I'll, I'll use a spear. Spears are pretty good. Uh, to say the least. Hey, you. Oh, he's like a rock one! Oh, hello. Um, uh, this does not look very friendly to me. Okay. What if I throw a bomb at them? Oh no, here we go. Oh yeah! Well, at least that stunned him enough that he's uh, not appreciative of it. Please don't lick me, please don't lick me, please don't lick me. He's, he's backing up and he wants to lick, I can tell. He looks like he's in that licking kind of mood. Just stabbing him in the butt a million times. 
I'm gonna take his weapons. Dragon Bone Boko Club. Oh. That doesn't, that's not very nice though. Those poor dragons, don't kill them. Uh, this Boko Club has been uh, reinforced with fossilized bones to maximize clobbering potential. Only the brawniest of Bokoblins can manage its immense weight. Oh no, please. If he licks me, he's still gonna murder me. Oh no! <laughs> that, was, that was insane. <laughs> he just picks up the rock and is about to throw it at me. Okay, I'll, I'll at least look at it. Oh! Okay, that's actually really strong. It's uh, reinforced for uh, more potential. I'm gonna see what my shields are like. Might drop this one and just use that one as a shield surfing shield, but... Ah, well, I'll just leave it. I don't think it really matters too much. I don't... I like shields that look cool more than anything else. I don't really go for anything fancy in the way of... Uh, doing much of anything. Other than just looking cool. That's all you need. You just need shields that look cool. Because I don't use shields too much anyway. I use them a little bit, but not as much as what you might think. Okay, since I'm going to have to be using Cryonis here, I think I'm going to have to put on all of my climbing gear. Because uh, climbing ice still takes time. So, yeah. There's no other easy way of getting to this, so I'm going to have to... I have to climb. Yeah. Let's take the chance. Stolen dance, milky chance, and uh, let's put on some pants. There we go. <laughs> so I had to put on the pants first. Somewhere in my climbing pants today. Okay. Let's see if I can actually uh, do this properly. Because the easiest way of getting across. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Well, you still climb fairly quickly with this. I don't think that it actually stacks. That's my problem. Which I'm very uh, upset about. So I, I think it's probably worth it to just... Come on! There we go. It's probably worth it... Is this person, like, playing French music? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I can just wear only my bandana and it actually works out fine. Or just wear only the pants sometimes. Sometimes you only want to wear pants. Not a shirt or uh, anything else. I don't know what's going on up here, but... I'm still going to find out, and that's the most important thing here. Man, I'm so inefficient with my, like, climbing with the cryostasis. I'll put one over there in case... Actually, yeah, that actually works better. Just mash the trigger and you're good. Well, mash, not trigger, but... The button what it allows you to jump and stuff. I'm just so distracted by this amazing music. He is a siren, or she. I, I can't tell from far away, but they are definitely drawing me in with the music. Hello there, siren! I don't know, it seems to use still a fairly uh, normal amount of stamina when climbing. But it is still pretty fast, so that's all that matters. Oh, they... whoever it is has... an accordion. Hello? Toucan Sam, where have you been all my life? Hello? <laughs> Why, hello! Yeah, I should do... <laughs> I should probably do some sort of voice for him, because he's just so... ...amazing, and, uh... He looks like he'd have a deep voice, but then again, still, the only deep voice I can actually ever think of is the Goron one. Oh well, I will kind of give him a voice, but it will just be a smooth, kind of suave voice. Why, hello! I certainly didn't expect to see anyone else up here. Oh. That, that there, on your hip! No, I'm sorry. It's it's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> I, I love that they always just say it that way. It's it's really offensive to my culture to be just looking at my crotch like that all the time. I know that I'm wearing camo pants, but still, I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna ask him if he's a bird. I'm gonna I'm gonna be polite to his culture. 
because Toucan Sam, we all know that birds exist, and, and they are able to talk and give us Fruit Loops. Uh, no worries. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Cass. I'm a bard traveling this land in search for ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Ancient songs? Oh. Ancient songs. Songs that sing the praises of a hero who sent and beat back the calamity of an age past. This oddly shaped rock pillar we're standing on is a subject of a song. Would you like to hear it? Uh, yes, sure. Oh. As you wish, a hymn. Oh, I, I wonder if I should actually be do saying this. I just want to listen to the nice, beautiful song, though. Mm. Oh, okay, that was hardly a song. I probably should have just read that then. I thought it was going to be, like, really beautiful and, like, a whole cutscene. Huh. But yeah, 17 of 24. My cash. Could it be a, a hidden secret stash of money? If it was left by the ancient hero that defeated the Calamity 10,000 years ago, it could be a, a big amount. Good luck figuring out. May the light illuminate your path. So, the hero's cash. Okay. 17 of 24. What does, what does that even mean? You're not telling me much of anything. Also, I probably should check my album. Because there is that one, uh... That's not the one I'm looking for. The... Where is... Oh yeah, this this one that I need to be finding. It's... Oh, it's on the path to the mountain, I think. I might know where that is. Ah, oh, because I've, I've been there pretty much. I've been close to there. That's right before the lion tries to murder you. Okay, I might actually go to that memory location then, before I actually forget it, but... Uh, let's check the adventure log. Because, uh... Uh, hero's cash. An ancient hero spoke of these words. One day I'll return to fight evil. My cash is at 17 of 24. This rock will point toward its reveal, or retrieval. What does 17 of 24 mean? 17 of 24, maybe there's like blocks on the map? Hmm. Let's see. The map isn't... It kind of is uh, sub subjected off to, into quadrants. Let's check. Uh, I'm gonna count this quickly. Maybe that will be a, a sign. No, I don't think that is actually correct, because 17 is like right here, and this is like 22, essentially, for the blocks. Also, if you filled in this entire area, then why would it do it that way? Because, uh, it's just like... Yeah, it doesn't make any sense, I don't think. I don't know what 17 of 24 means, though. This is pointing towards something, though. Man, I love this guy's music, though. He's, he's really good at accordion. He's just so beautiful. Look at this guy. Oh man. Well, it's just Link just staring at him in awe of his talents. Also, it almost... Oh, I thought those were actually something dealing with the Triforce on his uh, accordion with the triangles. 17 of 24. This is one riddle that I don't understand. I'm not very good with riddles to begin with, but... I can't see anything around here that actually even deals with numbers. Like, the only thing that I could think of before was maybe to go somewhere over there, because that would... be, uh... kind of... well, it's, it's the opposite pointing of where the rock is. But, maybe if I just continue along, like, there's that there, but then there's also those over... There are two trees. Huh... <sighs> If I go to those two trees, there might actually be something there. That's my prediction. 
The, then again, I was pretty much already there. Actually, no, I wasn't to those particular trees. That area could be it. Because that's nearly the edge of the world. And if it wasn't near the Korok location there, then it must be at the secondary portion. And, like, why else would those two trees be kind of intertwined and looking special? I don't know. I... I might do a quick little look for it. The only way of finding the way to get there, though... You'd think that I would be able to get it there from here, though, too. That's the one thing, that they wouldn't want you to have to fast travel or go somewhere else, I don't think. But this treasure might be pretty spectacular, so... I'm gonna go back to Hatno Village and uh, skydive off of here. Hopefully I can get to those two trees, find something special. If not, uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll find a memory. Because uh, a tree about a money is, is like a memory. A, a melody is like a memory, just like what that guy plays. Toucan Sam, please save me. I wonder if it would be a use to ask them about it. Do you guys know anything? Hmm, okay, probably not. Oh well. Also, I really should take off my clothes again. Or at least take off my pants and shirt, because... Still, it, it is nice to have that as a little tiny, tiny bit of uh, faster climbing ability. But let's just see how I look without uh, pants or the bandana. Well, without shirt or bandana. Because I kind of like the look of that, because I mean... The nakedness of Link to begin with, he is... Uh, he has some pretty long shorts. He has some pretty long, like, boxer brief kind of weird things. So... This doesn't really affect much. It, it looks better because then he actually doesn't have his bandana on. I don't... I, I'm not a fan of the bandana, but at the same time I kind of do like it. I don't know. It's a strange kind of conundrum. Oh... No, it doesn't seem like... This. There's a lot of foxes that I can see from outer space. Hey, hello! I'm gonna do this while I'm here. This this looks to be a Korok. Probably. Oh! Missed. Balls. Shall I teleport back up to the top again? Oh, are these the frogs I need? Yes, they are. Give me all your frogs. Oh, yeah. Can I still make it from here? Is it worth it? Ah, I might as well. I think I can probably make it. Or at least this will save me a lot of time. Either way, I, I'm probably gonna make it right into the water. Right where I'm pointing my sail. So it might be a very detrimental thing of what I'm doing here. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna try to jump off of this cliff then. Because I, I wouldn't have even made it to the water. I don't have anything to guide me. But yeah, that Korok. It probably is a Korok, if nothing else. But, yeah, wearing pants is probably not a bad idea. I can wear pants, no shirt, no hat. I don't know, it probably makes the most sense. I'll figure it out at some point or other. Shoo! Shoo! Oh, boy. Whenever I see a Lizalfo swimming in the water, I have to sneeze. Oh, boy. This is really, really bad. Yeah, cause I, that's what I found out of what they actually are. Because before I thought it was like a shark or something, but... No, it, it looks to be just a Lizalfos. Okay. Well... At least still, I do have the ability to climb pretty quickly here. I... I probably should have all of my climbing stuff on right now, but I guess I don't have to climb very much. If I have to climb a lot, then yes, because it does actually affect stamina. It doesn't as affect as much as I thought that it would. Because I thought it would just be, like, incredible. More than anything... Oh, boy. That's another reason why I have to go back to Kakariko. Thank you. Razor Claw. I need, like, one more of those. But, uh... Yeah, I, I need to grab my Iron Sledge. Uh, anything around here. Maybe the treasure is... Not really anything that he planted, but... He knew that there were just minerals everywhere for this previous hero of myself. Oh, or this. 
What's going on here? You, get out of here. Oh, bam! Okay, I'm gonna grab all these things. It's probably worth it. I'm gonna upgrade all the most armor at some point, Korok. Okay, maybe not. Or maybe I need this rock. Is there another Lizalfos just lying on the sand? Oh, boy. Me oh, yeah, maybe I do have to complete the circle. At least that's what I'm assuming. Complete the circle of Koroks. Okay, well, it's mildly okay. Uh, and complete the circle here. Okay. This is the most ill-made circle available. Well, ever constructed. But I need to find one... Oh, there's one more rock. These are specifically placed rocks. If this doesn't do something special, I'm really hoping that's a Korok or potentially the treasure. Well, it's at least a Korok. Ah, I found you. Look at that. I only need a few more. Getting so close to 12 again. Okay, well. Hey, that looks like to be. Is that another Korok flower? I'll go after it. Why not? I'm gonna try to take down the keys with a rock. Oh no, I'm not going to. I need bows. There we go. Whew. See, you, you say that they're so rare for the keys that are electric and whatnot, but they are... Oh, here we go. But they're not rare enough that I can find them an, everywhere and trying to murder me. I don't like them. Don't trust them. Oh, okay, that looks to be where it went. I love that there's just a bunch of Koroks in this area. I think that's kind of the idea of what this place is currently. Ah, there it is. Just keep following. I'm just You want to come along here, Fox? Star Fox, if you want, it's, it's perfectly fine with me. I heard it on my right ear. Uh, oh, there it is. Just keep going up. I think that's kind of the idea. This is probably the last one, or I'm going to end up going on... What the heck is that? There's another glowing... I'm going to spin it with a Korok leaf. And see what happens. Ah, you found me. Because one Korok leads to another. Okay. Got to get out of here before the keys goes and tries to murder me. Because I don't think that those are important enough that I... Oh, hello. Uh, I need some weak weapons. I don't have weak weapons. Okay. Lizalfos boomerang it is. Oh, boy. That guy pretty much should have killed me. Oh! Oh! His body was about to just stab me in the back. That was dangerous. Oh, boy. So this is an easy way of, like, grinding for uh, Lizalfos horns and stuff like that, is just finding them randomly. So I'm fine with that, but it's just like, oh, boy. Still, if they, those things glow that brilliantly, then they must have something special with them. It has to. There's no other uh, explanation that I have that just, like, it has to be something dealing with a Korok because it makes the sound of a Korok. Ah, uh, yeah, this this complete set it just makes so much of a difference. Because that is actually a lot less stamina. It's, it's still significant, but not significant at the same time. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, I don't have enough arrows for this. Come on. Don't st don't keep moving. I don't have the ability to do gyros behind my back. Okay, this one better be the last one. Yeah. The third one's the charm. I found ya. Okay. <laughs> one more already. I'm still gonna, like, spin this thing around just in case. Because you know what? You spin me right round, baby. Just like a Korok, baby. Right round, right round. 
Hear that or I found a Korok on the other one? I don't know, it, it definitely is their symbol of peace and regret. Hmm. I don't know. Well, there was at least- there were at least three Koroks in this area, so that... That was pretty good. This was a very, uh, valiant area. Does that have any numbers looking like it? Huh. I'm gonna go down into the water and hope for the best. So there must be something down here. Like this. Let's actually get this proper. Uh, that seems to be high enough. Yes! Another Korok. That was all I needed. Up to 12. So I, I probably do actually need to uh, quickly grab another upgrade before I go to uh, grab my iron sledge and stuff like that because if I- yes! Armored Porgy! It should be an Armored Pierogi. It's just a pierogi with the- uh, that has a lot of dough on it. Its uh, body's covered in armored hard scales. The compound and its scales, when cooked into a dish, fortify your bones and temporarily boost your defense. So it's- it's milk. That's what you're trying to say. It's calcium or something. Oh no, this area is just Korok filled, and I think it, this was like it's maybe their Korok sanctuary. Probably. I don't know. It's a, it's a good kind of sanctuary either way, though. It wasn't one that gave me my treasure because I wanted my treasure, but there's there's no sort of treasure around here other than this. This is the treasure of the hero, probably, but probably not. Hmm. Well. I think that's the end of that. Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here. Get another upgrade and then go over to, uh... Well, Kakariko and over. Oh boy, this is gonna be a mess.